Do you want to open it? Okay. Take the paper. Oh, that's such fun. Good girl. Boop, 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 boop. Good girl. Turn, yeah, other one. Turn the paper. Oh, oh, look at that. What's in there? You have your own unique way of opening presents, Juliana. Did I tell you that? <laughs> so cute, Benji. Oh, you. Hey, do you want me to help you? No. No? Okay. okay. Let me know when you want me to help you. So funny, the, uh, the person from Rescue Freedom. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on a second. I just want to warn you I'm vlogging. Okay. Just so you know. Yeah, turn it over. Turn it over. Oh, what's that? Do you want me? Yeah, do you want me to help you? Yeah. Here you go. Just pull this. Take this off. Okay, pull. Pull. Oh, oh. there you go. Pull. Pull. Pull the book. Pull the book. Pull, pull. Good girl. Oh, there we go. There you go. Turn it over. Open it up. Have you seen this, Ben? I found a book that is five jigsaw puzzles from Rio. Okay. Here you go. So you take this out. Okay, and you break this up, and then you put them back in there. See, go like this, like this. Okay, where does it go? Very good. Okay, obviously this is going to take a little bit of teaching, so I will need two hands. Okay, show me no selfies. No selfie. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're going to use your chopsticks? Really? You know how to use... Oh, mind your eye. I'm sure that Daddy would want you to probably do that when he's here. I'm a bit worried about... She's trying to use chopsticks. Chopsticks? Yeah. I'm not joking. I have it on camera. I can prove yeah, it. She, know, she knows what she... Be careful. Yes, in the mouth. Mm. Mind your eyes. Oh, sorry, little one. Here, you can Very use clever. a fork, okay? I do love you toss it, but not these wooden ones. Yeah. Okay, fork time. Okay, I got my fork. Here's my fork. Okay, which do we eat next? Eggs. Eggs. Okay, here we go, eggs. <laughs> Mm. I got mine. 
Mmm, thank you, Daddy. That's so good. Thank you, Daddy. Get you. Oh, yes, and she gave you I love you as You're well. You're welcome. All right, what do we eat next? More egg, okay? More egg. No, smell. In the mouth, good. Oh. Okay. And did we say I love you? I love Daddy. <laughs> I love you, Daddy. <laughs> Oh. More eggs. Okay. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> Very ladylike. Shove it in the mouth. Yeah, it's a good one. Ham and cheese omelet. What's new? Having breakfast with your mama cell. Oh, toast. Okay, Chewing time for toast. Out. Okay. Morning after. Feeling way better. I was like, pretty, I was out of it last night. Five hours or four hours after the broadcast was just all like a small blur to me. I went to church with the family. That was good. I'm glad I went. But then Judy let me go a little early. I went right to sleep. Well, hello everybody. This is Dear Mama Sal and I'm just um, running a little bit later than I meant to. Um, I'm just on my way back from... On Sember. And no makeup worth it talking about. <laughs> I managed to get some really good sleep in last night, so I'm feeling quite good. I'm sure I will probably feel the effects of this for the next couple of days, but oh gosh, I'm so glad that I came down and did what I did. It was such fun. Um, checked in this morning I just uh, finished doing the debriefing because Benji, Judy and I did a debrief um, after the event <coughs> so it's always a good thing to do after an event and uh, work out uh, what we could do better next time I know that's really amazing when we went from where we were to uh, I think the figure was sitting at 107,000 this morning uh, absolutely amazing, you know, that we just about doubled this year. And so you look at it and you go, the reason is because we d did some things really right and it was wonderful. I was so honored to be invited down to be part of it. I've, of course, been part of it quietly um, in, in my own way, if you like, um, for since it started. And uh, I was really stunned. Uh, that Benji gave me credit for having taught him what he knows um, in terms of doing this and he gave me far more credit than I deserve if you don't want me saying so <laughs> um, but really it was great and I was just so proud of everybody you know it's not easy to do something like that it's certainly not easy to put it together and quite honestly uh, the 24 hours is tough. It's tough on the body and it's tough on the people. So it was really uh, an incredible, incredible experience. I loved um, that I got to interact so much with all the viewers. only thing was that Google decided to that I was a troll and basically stopped me from being able to interact and even when I put in the passwords that they were asking for that didn't get me back on again so that was really sad and so then what I did was do everything through Twitter which was great um, and I really was kept quite busy with my doing it on Twitter <laughs> so it was good fun um, I really do I do have to say though that it was so rewarding um, to watch to watch everybody uh, when you're all under that much stress it was amazing how well everybody got on uh, 
we all we all had so much going on and yet we all seemed to really just get on it was just magnificent and it was so funny because I actually got to see my hotel room last night and <laughs> You know, I think I stayed in my hotel room for about seven, eight, ten, about, hang on a second, well, about 15 hours total. Um, <laughs> so, it, it, and most of that I was sleeping. It was a really, I was going to actually show you pictures of the hotel, but I, I didn't want to actually expose where it was. And I think if I'd taken pictures inside the hotel, it would have done that. So that's, I made a choice not to do that. Uh, for, just because I try and do that. Um, it's really, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know a lot of the viewers came on and watched. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing all the different involved and we really did have um, fun meeting the different people and it was great to have such great interaction from India and you know various other countries that yeah you know, Mauritius I got to speak to somebody from Mauritius my favorite island um, and and so it was just like wow that is such fun about the the part that I wanted to talk about. I made a comment about it um, towards the end of the December when, Judy, when Benji brought me up and that was it's about teamwork and it is about you know any one of us is capable of doing a great deal of things but a group of us is capable of doing miraculous things. And I know, I'm pretty sure that when Jeremy from I'm reading it, make sure I get it right, Rescue Freedom, I've still got my rubber bracelet on and it survived the shower very nicely. Um, that Jeremy, I, I'm pretty sure when we told him, you know, what the um, goal was, probably, <laughs> probably thought, yeah, right. Um, and, and then I'm pretty sure that he, you know, walked into a living room and looked at the setup and thought, yeah, right, we're doing this, we're going to raise that much money from a living room. See, what I love is that people don't understand the power of what we do. You know, you put the right group of people together, you can do almost anything from a living room. You need really strong leadership, and we sure have got that in Benji. There's no doubt about that. He, the guy really knows what he's doing, and it's just great. And so, look at it all, and you go, that we all did our part before, during, or after. There were two people involved that really you got to see very little of, and they did huge amounts of work before the event, uh, two or three. Um, we also had a situation where everybody loved what they did. And that is the secret of getting a good team together. Um, it's really good fun to have a lot of people who enjoy what they do. And if they're enjoying what they're doing, you know, they'll do it for 24 hours with you know, very few problems. I was a bit horrified to hear that I fell asleep and started snoring on live. But, you know, I'll get over that eventually. <laughs> I did sleep for, I think it was an hour or so, but um, my body, just my brain shut down. I, there's nothing I could do. Uh, and then it was horrifying that my 
that I had the problem with the garlic, um, and I hated to cause that much of a scene. But I tried to get out as quickly as I could. So anyway, good news. Things happen. You see, I don't know an event where everything goes perfectly right all of the time, and it was really sad to miss the ending. I would have been, you know, um, but the main thing is, did we reach the goal? Yes, we did. And was I honored to be part of it? Absolutely. So really what I'm trying to say to you all is, you know, the work we do at Dear Mama Cell, trying to help people, I could never do it on my own. And so those of you who are part of the Dear Mama Cell network who spend a lot of time supporting those people who need a little bit of support, uh, you will hopefully understand at a very deep level just how much I appreciate that because I could never do it on my own. I know that. And I love it, for example, that when everybody knew that I was down here doing this, and that they would continue to do broadcast to help people, you know, while I was gone. Great work. And to Paul and Aaron and everybody else, um, to Louisiana Laurie, who, you know, sent me, you know, quick words of encouragement during it, and anybody else who did that I can't remember right now. Um, thank you so much. Oh, hang on, Alice did, I know that, and I'm sure I've forgotten somebody else, but that you bothered to do that. Uh, in between it was just wonderful. I felt so, so honored. Um, it was just great. So, you know, when you look at this and you go, the wonder of what we have in terms of the internet and in terms of today's technology means that we can all um, play our part so well. And I go back to seeing the look on Jeremy's face when we hit the 100,000 and then when he realized it wasn't 100,000, it was 200,000. was quite a look. <laughs> or the look when, after it was all over, I, I, I will, uh, well actually just, it was before when we actually knew we'd hit the target. I walked back into the garage to talk to Jesse, who'd been on the board for all that time, and um, <laughs> just said to him, same time next year? Um, <laughs> And the look on his face, you know, and it was just like, yes, but. This is what I'm going to do next year. And I went, shush, 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 we know that. We know that. We all understand that. We're all doing the same thing. tell he had enjoyed it so much and boy he, he really did work hard and you know you look at all the different personalities um, Austin you know who was also helping on the remote video and stuff just wonderful and they were sitting in a coal garage uh, just loving every moment of it and interacting with you guys and so forth so who cared right
exist in the world and that's really all we need to do because if each of us does our best you know we will impact so many people along the way and I'm pretty sure that some of you think oh gosh you know I don't do enough or I could have done so much more and I would remind you as I have to remind myself sometimes that you know excellent is really good enough uh, we don't really need to go to perfection Excellent is good enough. And I know that we've had many people who have been through a tough time who really appreciated the help of the Dear Mama Sal support network and then are quite surprised when that same support network came to support them when they were going through a tough time. And it's like, why would you be surprised? It's what we do. So I had to remember when, when I was going on through the 24 hours that Erin and <laughs> Alice and Lolo and the rest of you, and I saw Paul was busy making remarks as well. You know, you guys understood that just the fact that you were there with me made me want to stay up and, and continue. And I really, really thank you for that. Farmer and, and all the rest of you, I know that you cared that what I was doing to help Benji and Judy. And, and for that we are forever grateful. It was really such a um, great moment. you can do just by asking and so you can say that some people can give time and some people can give product and some people can do whatever um, everybody has their own way of giving and supporting people don't know what it is you're trying to achieve, they have no way of being able to help you. And I think sometimes we are just too slow to tell people what the issue is.
hope you all had a good weekend. Uh, I just wanted to just tell you all how much I appreciated you. And that it really was an incredible time. I guess you knew that anyway.